Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video that I'm actually really excited for. I asked on Instagram for what your favourite comfort foods were. And by comfort foods I mean like foods that when you feel a bit down or you feel ill or it's cold outside, you go to for comfort. And I'm gonna be eating those for a day. I did do a video similar to this where I ate my followers fear foods. But I thought this would be kind of nice to do because obviously comfort foods is looking at food in a lot more of a positive light than that was. So you told me what your comfort foods were. I've kind of picked the most suggested ones or the ones that I've looked at and thought I would never think of that as a comfort food. I'm gonna try it. And yeah, basically. Before I get started though, I do just wanna show you what I'm wearing right now. If you've been following me for a while, you will know that I run t-shirt and hoodie campaigns to raise money for Beat, the UK's eating disorder charity. And there is a new kind of mini collection out because I, you, oh God, I can't show you it. Hold on. This is the design. I'm obsessed. I actually, I love it. And it comes in three colors. It comes in green, red, and blue. I will insert pictures here. Um, and it comes in t-shirts or hoodies. The t-shirts go up to size 5XL and the hoodies go up to size 2XL. So we made them as inclusive as we could. And 40% of all the profits go to Beat, the UK's eating disorder charity. So what could be better? Without further ado, let's get breakfast. So for breakfast, I've got something that honestly I never have. I think the last time I had these was on my birthday, um, but I know that I love them and I can see why they're comforting. So loads of people said waffles. Um, I don't have a waffle maker, or if I do, do I? I might. Too late now, because I bought them. So I got some all butter waffles. Also something that people said was Oreos. So I also bought cookies and cream spread from M&S, by the way. Everyone always asks where this, this is from when I put it on my stories. This stuff's incredible. I, I don't know if it tastes like Oreos, but it tastes good either way. So basically I'm gonna have waffles, waffles, drizzled with this, and then crumble an Oreo or two on top. We're going for a sweet breakfast, and you know what? I love a sweet breakfast. Sweet over savory, any day. This waffle just fell to actual pieces as I got it out. We'll cover that one up. I don't know how much this is gonna drizzle, but, oh, it's kind of gloopy. These are gonna be honest, oh my God. <laughs> I had this like really aesthetic vision and it's just not happening. Do you know what? It's fine. Because food doesn't have to be pretty and aesthetic to taste nice. Does it look a bit limp and a little bit underwhelming? Yes, but this is about comfort foods. And I feel like there's a lot of pressure on YouTube. When I say there's pressure, it's pressure I'm putting on myself. But when you're posting food online, like it has to look super perfect and beautiful. But this is about having food that comforts you, not food that looks perfect or is perfect. Like, I'm sure this is gonna taste really nice regardless. Let's tuck in. The waffles are very buttery and falling apart. Let's try. They're crumbling. Like they've literally crumbled. I don't know if you can see that. Oh my God, it tastes incredible. I can definitely see why people find waffles comforting. So good. Also, apparently on the pack, it says one waffle is one serving. Like, I'm sorry, even three doesn't look like a lot. And this is your sign. Whatever time of day it is, if you are hungry or you need to eat, go and get food and sit and eat with me. You deserve it. As always, oh my God, my phone just gave me a medication reminder as I started speaking, nice. As always, this is your reminder that if you take medication or you need medication, go take your meds. And on the topic of medication, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Ritual. Ritual make vitamins, all different types. They have prenatal, postnatal, men's, over 50s, 
I have the essential for women ones. Honestly, taking multivitamins is so important. These ones contain so much goodness that I probably am somewhat lacking from my diet as a vegetarian. They contain nine high quality nutrients from like D3 to omega-3. And I personally love these because they don't taste gross. There's a mint tab in every bottle, so they actually taste nice. They're vegan friendly, no GMO, allergy free, gluten free. They're just a win-win really. And right now, Ritual are actually offering 20% off with my code. Um, which I will leave here. So if you want to get 20% off some vitamins, <laughs> um, I'll leave the code here. I'll leave the link in the description. And yeah, thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I did just eat an apple to break this up and let me explain why. So obviously breakfast was quite chocolatey. It wasn't actually too chocolatey because the cookies and cream spread kind of tasted more like the cream part, if you see what I mean. But for snack, what loads of people said was cookies. And I saw a couple people say triple chocolate cookies. So I went to Sainsbury's and I bought these bougie chocolate cookies. And I was actually planning on like having what I will now have for afternoon snack instead of this. But then I realised it all just has chocolate in it anyway. So it's not really going to break up that chocolateness. So I decided to just go with this now. And by the way, I'm not saying I want to break it up in like a, a disordered way. I just didn't want to get chocolated out before lunchtime. But chocolate is a very, very comforting food and most people said it and most of the snack options involve chocolate. So there's no escaping it today. And I love chocolate too, so it is absolutely fine. That's huge. <laughs> oh my God, it smells incredible. Well, that's like the size of the plate. I'm excited. Also, I feel like I need to say this because I will usually get one or two people being like, this is so unhealthy, don't promote this. First of all, shut up because, <laughs> that was a bit rude, sorry. But um, there is no, why am I holding the cookie like this? There is no food more unhealthy than an eating disorder. Um, and this video is to help those people that struggle with their relationship with food. And I've really struggled with my relationship with food. So your opinions on what is healthy or not is not warranted here. Second of all, this is one day off for me. Also, eat whatever you want. Like there are no rules around food. If you want to eat chocolate all day, go for it. Also a sign, I'm so vocal with my hands. Like I'm just, right. Also a sign that if cookies scare you or if anything I eat today, oh my God, anything I eat today scares you, challenge it. I want you to challenge it. I want you to buy it and eat it and then comment and tell me that you challenged it. It's quite soft. It's very soft, it's breaking. Oh my God, that's incredible. That's so good. I'm actually in pain when I'm eating at the moment because I've bit my cheek. And you know when you bite your cheek and then it swells up and then you can't stop biting it. That's what I'm going through right now. Mmm, I definitely recommend these. It's crazy to me as well, and I say this a lot, but I know that even a year ago, I'd be sat here and I'd be like, needing encouragement and feeling really guilty for it. Whereas just for reference right now, I need to drop that. I'm completely home alone. So, it's possible, and it's normal. For people with a good relationship with food, it's normal, so. Last little bit. That was a 10 out of 10, worth every penny. It's lunchtime. This must have been like the most suggested thing. I'm having soup. Soup is one of my comfort foods, 100%. I feel like you can't eat soup and not feel somewhat comforted. And luckily, wait, I need to go grab it. My mother made a huge batch of, I'm having to like crouch because for some reason I've just set my camera up weirdly. My mum made a huge pot of minestrone, so I'm going to put some in the microwave and get myself some sourdough because that was also requested and again my mum makes sourdough, so you guys made it easy for me. So funny, people always ask me where this bowl is from. I literally painted it myself at like a pottery painting place. If you actually look at it up close, it's very messy. But yeah, that is a good hearty bowl of soup. This is more veg than actual broth, actually. Also, name one thing more versatile than soup. I bet you can't. You can literally turn anything into soup. Big fan, big fan of soup. 
it's literally tipping it down like you can't actually see maybe you can it's tipping it down and i have a hot bowl of soup life's good this looks incredible I love my mum's soup. I just love my mum's cooking. Everyone always says like, can you ask your mum to cook for me? She honestly would. What the hell? It's cold. The bowl is boiling hot. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm all right. This is so good. Guys, I'm just gonna stop filming this for a second because A, my mum's on the phone. B, it's the biggest bowl of soup ever and it's gonna take me like years to eat. I'm nearly finished. I'm actually stuffed. I kind of didn't realize how big this bowl of soup was, but it is certainly very comforting. I think it's a really beautiful thing to have gotten to a place where I can see foods as comforting because I spent so long only talking about how they were my fear foods because that's all they were. I was scared of almost every food. That's not the same for everyone with an eating disorder by the way but that's how it was for me and i think now being able to sit here and be like this is comforting is such a big sign of progress and maybe if you struggle with a similar thing it might be nice to try and figure out what foods make you feel warm inside make you feel happy rather than scared and start calling them comforting because having a positive outlook and using positive words when describing food does actually help you rebuild that positive association with food in your brain i think i'm not a psychologist or a medical person but i reckon that that's true so this is an extremely late snack it's dark outside now but I had my lunch quite late. I've actually eaten everything quite late today. Um, but that's fine. Probably the most or one of the most suggested snacks, which is actually a snack I haven't been eating much recently. Kind of forgot it existed. Yogurt bowls. I saw specifically lots of people say yogurt bowls with chocolate and I saw somebody say a yogurt bowl with chopped nuts. So I have cashew nuts and I have dairy milk chocolate and we're just gonna chop it all up and shove it in some alpro vanilla yogurt and voila it's a candlelit snack <laughs> mm. this actually looks really really nice i don't think i've ever put normal dairy milk in a yogurt before um and i've never i don't ever buy bars of just plain dairy milk I'm not sure how i'm gonna feel about the cashews which is why i didn't put that many in oh that's actually so nice you guys have good comfort foods. I just keep biting my cheek and it hurts so much. Ow! I just bit my cheek again. That was impeccable. To all the people that suggested that. Bloody lovely. Oh my god, they look incredible. Okay, so for dinner, we have a very, very suggested thing which is mac and cheese. There was so many people that said mac and cheese and honestly, I've never had it and liked it, but I haven't eaten it for a long, long, long time, probably since I was a kid and I was a bit more fussy when I was a kid. So this is actually from Pastor Evangelists and it's a black truffle mac and cheese. So probably the most bougie mac and cheese you could get, but it looks insane. Brands already started, opinions. Yeah? Oh, it's so crispy. It's really, really good. Really, really good. Whoa. Mac and cheese is often really salty, like too salty. Mm. This is really nice. Oh my gosh, look at 
She hasn't been in a video in ages. In a while. I mean, it's only your voice, but. Boyfriend reveal. As if you haven't been revealed before. TV. I bet my sugar lamp. This is so, so nice. My followers pick some good, good food choices. Good. I'm feeling comfortable. I'm feeling comforted. I am though. Like I think that's part of why I've had such a good day is I've just eaten really wholesome things. If you're in need of comfort, eat comfort. Mm -hmm. Massive. Simple. Eat your favorite things. It's gonna make you feel happier. Ow! I've literally bit my cheek again, yeah. That must be like the eighth time today. For a ready meal, about as good as they come. I'm feeling positive today. People, I was about to say in the audience. <laughs> I'm just a tiny people sat on my phone. It's not even my phone, it's my camera. Oh, brain tired. Anyway, comment something positive about your day or week. It'll be Sunday when you see this. Also, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but there's only seven days left to get these hoodies. And I can't remember if I said that or if I just mentioned the hoodies, but I will put the link in the description. Also, I don't know if I said that. Link in bio. Smash that like subscribe button. I do like mac and cheese then, because I've been saying that I don't, but I do. Ow! What did you do? Bit my cheek and then burnt it with the pasta. <laughs> All food is good food. And that's on that, I'm period. That was genuinely incredible. That was so, so, so good. Um, and we do actually have a dessert, but I'm not ready for that right now. I am stuffed. So I'll see you in probably like half an hour when we're having dessert. Wait, why have I started filming when I haven't even got it out yet? Clever! My silly little boyfriend is allergic to apples, so he can't eat this. <laughs> Grow up! <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna have some oat and apple crumble. I bought the Sainsbury's Taste the Difference one because it looked a bit yeah. bougier. Are you ready for this, Dad? Yeah. Dad's like the apple crumble king. He used to make one every year. Dad, where's the custard? Uh, it's not the fridge. Do we need to heat that or can we just have it cold? It's up to you. Do I yeah. need to heat this? Oh, I do need to heat this. You can oven heat it for 25 minutes. Yeah. Should we oven heat it? I prefer it. Yeah. Warm. I like that with cold custard. Cool, yeah. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. Right, well, I shall oven heat this for 25 minutes. Apple crumble and also custard. Because this was suggested, again, by at least three people, I think. Can you let the dog out? <laughs> Crack on, basically. It looks very, very lovely. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Final comfort food of the day is apple crumble and custard. Apple crumble was, I think I've already said, suggested quite a few times. And I love apple crumble and I find it very comforting. It reminds me of when I was younger. We had an apple tree in the garden and dad used to make apple crumble. <laughs> very good. And it was very good. So I hope this Sainsbury's mm. one lives up to expectations. Mm. Mm. Well, thank you very much. That was yummy. You're very welcome. And the day of comfort foods is done. I actually had a really, really good day and I really enjoyed so everything I ate. That's very good. Props to everyone who sent me suggestions on Instagram. You have good taste. And actually I found everything really comforting and I really very much enjoyed it. And I'm absolutely stuffed. Um, I'm not saying it was a lot of food. There are people that will eat way more than this in a day and there are people that will eat less than this in a day and that's fine you are your own person please do not compare um but i hope this showed you that it is a good thing to talk about food positively and to let food be something that brings you happiness and comforts you it does not make you greedy it does not make you gluttonous or a bad person you're allowed to enjoy food you should enjoy food food is a huge part of life and a source of energy and a source of joy so on that note look after yourself Please give this a like if you enjoyed it, which I'm hoping you did if you've made it to the end of this. Otherwise, you've wasted a lot of your time. Please also subscribe, I would appreciate that. Remember that there's a week left to, this I'm doing a really bad job of showing this, to buy a hoodie or a t-shirt. And I will see you next week. <laughs>